Greetings, Capsuleer. Welcome to Drifter Hive Orientation. My name is General Stargazer, and I will be covering the basics as to what you can expect on one of the standard Arataka Research Consortium Hive operations. Before you join a fleet, here are some good practices and information. Join the Consortium Operations channel as shown here. You will find the operation scheduled in the channel message of the day. Information about fleet operations and invitations for fleet operations are done through this channel. If you drop from the fleet while an operation is in progress, you can rejoin by asking through this channel. Be prompt. The time reflected in the Consortium Operations channel are fleet start times. This is the time that we enter the wormhole. Arc Scouts are navigating viable entrances anywhere up to two hours before an operation to ensure the easiest and most convenient entrance for the fleet. Fleet formation is approximately 30 to 45 minutes before the scheduled start time. Position Our attacker scouts will aim to give the fleet the safest route from around Amar to the wormhole entrance. So if you wish to position yourself to ensure minimal travel distance, place yourself near Amar. Remember, if you are too far away from the fleet location at the scheduled wormhole breach time, you may not be able to attend. Ships Arataka has a special team of pilots who will fly the specialist ships required to successfully complete a hive operation. For public attendance, we list ship fits, which are considered as standard hive op fits in the Consortium Operations channel. If during a fleet operation the ship is lost, with the fittings advised, the ship will be refunded to you, either as ISK or as the ship itself. These fits have been rigorously tested to ensure that they perform as required, so please ensure that they match. If you wish to bring a non-recommended fit or ship to a high fleet, please be aware that your ship will not be eligible for replacement. In addition, hive operations are in shattered wormholes, which have ship size limitations, mass limitations, and a variety of cosmic effects, so some ships may physically be incapable of entering. Voice Communications while not a requirement to talk on operations, it is required that you at least listen to fleet instructions. High fleets use TeamSpeak TS3. Please ensure it is installed and set up before joining fleet. Drones Ensure drones are changed from aggressive to passive. This ensures targets are not shot at incorrect times. Lastly, Overview Please ensure that your overview currently has been correctly configured to show drifters and roaming sleepers cruiser. Also check that you have the tags column shown. Drifter complexes have multiple gates inside, so the correct one will be tagged to show which one the fleet will be using. Tags are also used in the event that two drifters with the same name are on grid. They will then be tagged separately to advise which one to be set up on first. With all of that covered, here is what you need to know once you are in the fleet. Fleet message of the day. Once invited to the fleet, you will find the address of the TeamSpeak server. Please log in and join the fleet operations channel. If you are not on and in the channel by the fleet start time, you may be unable to attend. The current fleet rally point will be listed. If it is listed as Amarish, please position yourself in Amar or one of the neighbouring systems. All this means is the wormhole entrance has not yet been made public, or the fleet is still in formation. Once a rally point has been finalised, the fleet message of the day will be updated so that you won't have to ask. We will typically form up at a citadel or a station before entering the wormhole. Broadcasts High fleets run with logistic ships in a fleet that often exceed the watch list size. Therefore, it is required that fleet members broadcast for armour when needed. Be aware that fleet logistics do run filtered broadcasts, so requests for anything other than armour will not be seen. You are free to broadcast for armour if you are in shields or a drifter is locking you. Broadcast once and only once, as multiple people in fleet may be taking damage. Once you are in a fleet, 
And before we enter the wormhole, please ensure that you're comfortable with what you need to do when broadcasting for armor. Before we get onto the details of what to expect inside the wormhole, here's a bit of information on the drifters themselves. Drifters have standings and standing mechanics. Completing drifter sites and a hive operation will lower your standings with the drifters. To date, there is no known way to improve your standing. That being said, after a variety of different tests, there is also no known impact to having lowered standing. The drifters have no associated standings as well, so it will have no impact on any other faction. Four different types of drifter have been observed. Apollo Tyrannos, Artemis Tyrannos, Hikanta Tyrannos, and Arithmos Tyrannos. During a standard drifter hive operation, we'll encounter the first three types of drifter. The Hikanta is always predictably at the hive itself, so invariably is never called. The other two are roaming around the system. So, if you hear on comms someone saying Apollo Apollo Apollo, or Artemis Artemis Artemis, or even Drifter Drifter Drifter, it means we're about to encounter one of them. Drifters are not easy to kill, and their behaviour changes depending on location and action. Your FC will be familiar with this, so standard operating procedure when encountering drifters is, first and foremost, listen to the FC's orders. Second, as soon as you warp to the wormhole beacon, and once you're inside the wormhole, ensure that your defensive systems are at maximum. Activate defensive mode if you're in a Tech 3 destroyer. Activate any resistance modules. These should be on at all times. Drifters can appear at any moment, and if your defensive systems aren't ready, don't be surprised if the drifter kills you faster than you can broadcast for repairs. Third, do not fire until you're instructed to do so. Drifters have a special dual layer overshield. If this shield is depleted before the fleet is ready and in position, it can result in a deadly outcome. Fourth, ensure that you are orbiting drifters at the correct distance, and if you have a prop module, that it is running. If you are unsure of your distance, the FC will advise you of these ranges. Fifth, through most of the drifter complex, the fleet will gather on each acceleration gate and move in together, with the exception of the final hive room. Once the room before the hive room is cleared, commonly referred to as the antechamber, the fleet will gather on the gate as per usual, but activation will be in a defined order. This is because there can be anywhere between one and four drifters in this final room. The combined incoming damage on a smaller ship can therefore be devastating. As such, the command ship in the fleet will enter first to take the initial brunt of damage, followed by the logistic ships and then the rest of the fleet. The FC will notify the fleet when each wave should enter. Looting the FC will designate a specific looter. Please do not loot any items unless instructed to do so. Items drop and appear in specific rooms within the hive, and must be placed in exact locations to complete the complex. Other loot is gathered and sold to fund operational costs and ship replacement. Drifter AI Drifters use a special form of AI. They react differently from what you'd usually expect. They can react to ship distance, movement, and call in the assistance of another ship. So while outside the wormhole, you must not make assumptions on movement and engagement, and only move or fire under the FC's command. Equally so, engagement inside the wormhole, when the drifters are concerned, should also only happen when the FC instructs you to open fire. Payout forms. During the fleet, the payout form will be linked into fleet chat. In order to receive your share from the fleet operation, you are required to fill in this form. Coming under fire. As with everything in this universe, drift to hive operations still carry an inherent risk. While the entrance for operations is in the relatively safe high security space, you are entering a wormhole system. Once you enter, at any point, a capsuleer is free to engage you without repercussion. That being said, the lethality of drifters typically does ward off most, but it's still a possibility. Drifters themselves are also incredibly deadly. If at any point you are engaged by capsuleers, sleepers, or drifters, broadcast for armor, 
and we'll do our best to get you repaired up. If you do lose a doctrine fitted ship during one of our operations, you can still file for a ship replacement. This concludes the standard operations procedure for a drifter hive operation. During a regular fleet, outside of the drifter engagement, comms is typically fairly light and relaxed. Conversations are usually had on fleet comms or in fleet chat in game, and if you have any questions, you are free to ask at any point. The drifter hives themselves are quite a spectacle to see, and usually do invoke some curious questions. So, with all of that, we hope you have fun, and we'll see you in fleet.